Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure Microsoft Outlook 2013 using IMAP. Uh, as you can see we have Microsoft Outlook here ready to go. Um, Microsoft Outlook is nothing more than a mail client. What you can do here is you can have all your emails account in just one mail client instead of going in each one of them you know one at a time. So what we can do here to start adding emails account to this mail client we, what we do is we click on file we go account settings account setting again here and we click here new because we don't have any account there's nothing here so click new so we click uh, manual setup click next POP or IMAP that's what we select here so we put our name our email email and um, this is the account type POP or IMAP uh, I like to using I like using um, IMAP because IMAP allow me to access all my email from different devices something that the, P the, the POP doesn't let me do let's say you access all your email from your laptop at home using POP you won't be able to access all your email at work because POP what it does is download all the emails when you log into your account and it doesn't allow you to pretty much share all those emails with, with your different devices this is what IMAT does it's like a cloud you can you know access your email anywhere anytime from different devices that's why I like using iMac so the what we do here now is we type the incoming mail server for Yahoo you can google it um, because I know I'm gonna type it right away iMac dot mail sorry about that yahoo.com and the other one is the outgoing is mstp.mail at yahoo.com so what we do here we put our logon information for email and we make sure we click here require logon using secure password so we click more setting now we click outgoing make sure advanced now and advanced we're gonna use secure soccer layer which is port 993 and we're gonna use the outgoing mail server secure soccer layer 2 which is port 465 we click OK and we click next and we just wait for the account As you can see it's in progress complete and everything is good to go so we click close we click finish and we already have an account as you can see added to our Microsoft Outlook if we want to add another one we can just go ahead and click next manual setup and select POP or IMAP click next and we pretty much do the same thing you know we type our name um, our email to the different email this is the good thing about Microsoft Outlook. You know, I can have all my email in just one place. We click IMAP here. Make sure it's IMAP. We already know the IMAP configuration for Yahoo, which is IMAP email that Yahoo.com and MSTP the mail at Yahoo.com. So we type our logon information here, which is Yahoo.com. Make sure we click here. More setting. We do pretty much the same steps. Secure circle layer. This one. Make sure to change it to 465. Um, we already have another IMAP account added to our Microsoft Outlook. As you can see, it's in process complete. It's good to go. If we have these two green things here, that means it's good. You don't want to see the red X here. That will mean that there's something wrong. Okay, so we want to add another one. Um, in this case, we will use um, 
Yahoo, Hotmail, Gmail, nothing like that. I have a mail, um, a mail account with HostGator. So let's see how this works here. So we'll go ahead and type my name. Um, the email for this account is support at the end dot Dominican blog dot com. So you can see, even if I Google this Dominican blog, I won't be I won't be able to find you know that incoming mail server or outgoing server for this particular account here because it's not that popular anyway. So because I know that it's in HostGator, what I do is I just go to the my email. Um, a host gator let me go back so you can see where to click so you just log in to your host gator control panel and wow this thing is thinking too much anyways let's see okay so when I log into my support um, blah 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 a Dominican blog I click here configure mail client and this will bring me to this page here I go down and it will tell me what is my incoming server for for a server that for my account so I just click here I copy this uh, and I go back to my page here. I will copy this right here and I will type the end Dominican blog.com. So I will type the password for it. Click require. Okay, click here, click here, make sure secure circle layer 465. Click OK. And I'm gonna click next here. And this is all done. <sighs> Drinking coffee. It's early in the morning. So this is good to go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna close here. Um are pretty much retrieving emails so we make sure we click right here where it says send and receive all folders so it's gonna start downloading all the email from the server same thing for this account right here and for this one you see 6 14 this is 10 12 bulk mail you know what you're doing right now depending on how many emails you have in each account it's gonna take a while you know but this is ready to go. You know, I have three emails account in just one mail client. This is Microsoft Outlook 2013. This video is made by Domex Network. Hope you like it, guys.